Well, I think the first thing is bringing a range of people together who've got a critical role to play in the delivery of the strategies. Uh, and the second thing, I think, is the, the, the key theme of the conference, which is putting policy into practice. Uh, it's all very well having these national strategies, but of course it's all about implementation. From my perspective, it's all about implementation locally. Um, and, and I think that's the key thing that today can help with some uh, keynotes and, and presentations from, from real practitioners that are delivering on the ground, sharing their experience with other people. Yeah, I think we're, what we're currently doing is refocusing the work of CSPs moving forwards, working closely with Sport England as a major funder of the network, uh, to really clarify the contribution CSPs can make to delivering the strategy moving forwards. Their local presence in communities across England is really key. Their established relationships with a whole range of partners, both within sport and beyond sport, uh, both operationally and strategically, are really important. Uh, so we're really looking to build on those. And I think the real change or shift uh, moving forward is, is the strategic work they do, the advocacy work they do for sport with some of those decision making makers, uh, getting more investment into sport, uh, helping create the real change in local communities, get people behind uh, the strategy of getting more people more active. Okay. I think the biggest asset of CSPs is being locally based um, and being independent and interested in all sports, all activities and supporting all providers. Uh, so we're not trying to develop any particular, promote any particular activity, we just want to get people more active. Uh, being locally based means we're closer to some of the communities we're trying to reach uh, and certainly work closely with all the partners that have got a role to play. So bringing those together, helping them to collaborate, helping them to provide a more unified offer to hopefully find a sport or activity for everybody. Yeah, we're looking to, to continue to grow and develop our workplace challenge offer. That's about getting people in the working day, in and around the working day, in their workplace more active. Uh, we know that people spend a huge amount of their time in the workplace. We know that the biggest barrier to exercise people's sight is a lack of time. So it's really fundamental that we get uh, people active in and around the working day. We've had a great start with over 50,000 people involved in the workplace challenge and we hope to grow that further. A key part of that is to work with a range of partners who've also got a good product that suits the working day, uh, whether that's walking, running, jogging at lunchtime, table tennis, uh, a whole range of, uh, of activities and, and, and we want to work with all those providers to help them get their product to that market.